Uh, I have a bit of a confession to make. I did not necessarily grow up, artistically at least, with uh, paint, um, MS Paint. Like, I, I did obviously grow up with it. I was a Windows kid, but like, I was one of those kids that would just kind of like go on to the computer, terrified of the internet, and do this, and then fill in the little gaps and convince my parents to let me <laughs> to let me print it out because I thought it looked cool. Which I mean like cubism. Uh, um So yeah, I never really um got into the investment, I suppose, of 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 learning how to draw in MS Paint. There have been brief moments of curiosity where I've tried. Uh, mostly with just kind of like little pixel arty things, but I thought that I would take another little dive in and see if I could maybe try and to some degree replicate my style. Obviously it's changed quite a bit since like, I don't know, the XP version that I had as a little kid. Like, you got these brushes that don't necessarily have pen pressure, but they give the kind of illusion of it because they like, yeah, they end off small. See that? They start big. And like, yeah, I'm putting down all the pressure onto my pen here. It's kind of ironic, but I'm using my, you know, expensive uh, screen tablet to, <laughs> to, to draw on MS Paint here. Um, but yeah, I figured that I would give, uh, give a little bit of a shot at this retro program um, by drawing something in the retro milieu. I know some of the secrets. Like, I know how the eraser works. Uh, that's about it. Uh, let's see, I even got in my favorite background colors here. And... It got a bit lighter, actually. I'm gonna draw... Another thing that I think is pretty retro that I didn't get, I didn't really do, or use, I suppose, in this case, that I actually just ordered the other day, which is, uh, Furbies. I'm pretty excited about them, so they've kind of been on my mind forever. I've got a bunch of references pulled up here. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, you might expect some more content revolving around Furbies, I'm not entirely sure what yet. I wanted to do some things. I got an old Furby and a new Furby. Uh, new by meaning like 2012. The 2018 Furbies? The Furby Connects? Uh, they're, they're much weirder this time around. And I don't know if they're exactly the same in terms of like function. And I wanted, <laughs> I wanted you know, the, the classic Furby experience. And then the experience with the more like emotive Furby, the true upgrade, you know? I don't know why I'm saying this, but I guess I'm talking about Furbies. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna try and draw a bit more of a, like, stylized Furby, so not just the kind of egg shape, but maybe try and define where they have a head and a body. Let's see. A bit of fluff there, a little beak tucked away. guys Little fuzzy ears There's my Furby sketch. Let's get a little bit closer in here. So yeah, as you can see, a little pixelated there. Let's see if I can use this brush. Another one of those ones that kind of like, I said, almost imitates pen pressure. Like if I, maybe not you. Where are you? Oh, this one maybe? Oh, yeah, this one's very brushy. I don't know if I need that. Colored pencil. Let's 
See, oh yeah, this draws over itself. It's slightly opaque, or um, not opaque, slightly transparent. Let's see, I don't need a big chunky one. Just need something that kind of imitates. And I know people. This one will do. Um, I know people will use the shapes tools and stuff like that too with classic paint, but you know what? We're going, we're going with what, try and make it as close to my usual style as possible. So we're going to Furbies again. You can tell how shaky these lines are. It's crazy. And yeah, you see, that's just the direction of the pen. So you can, you can really work with this. Are there any artists that wind up watching? Do you, did you grow up, or even if you didn't, did you grow up with a... Um, or even if you're not an artist, did you grow up with MS Paint? And if you if you are, uh, especially digital artists, what was your first um, digital art program? Probably still MS Paint for some people. I grew up watching... Um, watching speed paints so I pretty much instantly like somehow got my hands on like a cracked version of paint tool Psy. I know it's kind of it's kind of scandalous okay but I was 13 <laughs> I think people like MS paint especially now for like it's um Um, for its like retroness and like the the call the harken back to the 90s kids and like I guess by all technicalities I was a 90s kid but I was born in 99 <laughs> like I was a hand-me-down on the 90s kid all of the toys and all of the things that <laughs> like maybe my big brother got and even he was kind of on the tail end of it um, give him a little bird mouth uh, he was, was stuff that I wound up watch, doing and watching and, and having his toys and stuff like that, you know? But I said, what I never really had was a Furby. I think my brother had one for maybe a little while, but it was probably broken. I do like this, the kind of illusion of pen pressure that they've been able to bring in here. It's surprisingly detailed, and I think that it's not necessarily, like, anti-aliased. Or, not necessarily alias, super pixelated. Something like that. I could be wrong. Zoom in. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely blurry. You can see the little blurred lines around it. It's definitely not pix- pix- like... It's not fully pixelated, like the uh, pencil brush. Let me bring that out. You see that? That's like pixel art. I think at least. Yeah, yeah, look at that. The blurry line versus the completely pixelated line. That's interesting. My grandma actually still has this like old, what is it, an XP or something like that, similar to the computer that we had when I was a kid. Um, and the old version of paint, the aesthetic one, is still on there. And it's so crazy to work with. And it's so tiny, you can't change um, the uh, pixel uh, quality or anything like that. Like, I got this cranked up to about 2,500. And it would not let you do that at all. Let's see if I can use these circles, huh? Fill solid color. Is it gonna be, how's the other color? I don't want that. Look at that. Perfect little circles. Guess that's the fun part of paint, huh? I'm getting a little messy here. 
I can clean some of this stuff up. Huh. Another thing, I'm using my tablet here. And uh, it won't let me click down because then the mouse will show up and it'll stop moving the, um, the paint cursor. So I'm just kind of hovering my pencil over the screen. It's an interesting sensation. Let's get the illusion of some pen pressure in here. Like, yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. It's just, um, it just obviously doesn't cooperate with the more touchy systems that allow you to make pen pressure. And so you have to go in and kind of make the illusion to um, an actually drawn line uh, that is there in more recent digital art. I just realized I was drawing over these with white. Oh yeah, and then after I, um, after I graduated from, you know, my, my legal days of, of <laughs> hacked paint tool sci, I went on to, it's tiny, uh, oh, it's bigger actually, um, I went on to GIMP, which is free open, an open source, bit of a poor man's Photoshop, not my favorite, um, and then Krita, which I still highly recommend. Right now I'm using Clip Studio Paint, because thankfully, People were willing, very thankfully, really, people were willing to invest in my art. My parents, mostly. And even though I'm a big kid with my own big kid money, I still use that version. You know, I got it as a gift, like, two years ago. God, this is big. Maybe this way. It's chonky. Oh, yeah. See, it, like this way, yeah, see it's a, and then you can't rotate it. So you wind up with a big line going this way. Let's make this one thicker somehow. Like I was like, oh, I'll make it a tinier line for more details. It doesn't matter over here because it's not uh, in the same angle. That's unfortunate. <laughs> big poof of hair on top for the original Furbies. The new ones just have their little antennae, and then the, was it, 2012 ones, they have like a little, a little troll, uh, poof, flame head. And you see as I'm going along that this is getting wider, it's because of the pen. Let's see, is there another one? What does this one do? Oh, this one goes the opposite way, yay! <laughs> I found the fix! I found the solution to the problem, I just need to keep switching between two pens. Oh my gosh. That's not what I wanted. Not really. It is also interesting just being able to like hover over the board to erase basically with my um, finger on the on the uh, right click button. And then when I press down, I'm drawing. <laughs> Gotta go back to my other brush. The difference between the, oh, I guess it doesn't, it does show, okay. You guys don't see that, it doesn't pop up for you. Uh, the two different, um, it shows it going wide and then thin at the end, and then thin and then wide. So really this one, and the answer is that it isn't really, it's just on an angle. I like this poof. I've been working here forever and I don't really like this hair. What do you think? Yeah, let's get rid of the hair. Uh, big one. Yeah, I don't think NMC is necessarily bad. Like it's, it's obviously it's um it's a little limited, but it makes it kind of like a, sort of like a, um, a medium almost. You know. Um. The people that can master it, like if you see some videos, uh, animations and stuff like that, people who are really good with paint, it it doesn't really matter that they're, what they're using is MS Paint. It just looks like pretty high quality um, anti-aliased art, you know? Or not anti-aliased, aliased art. 
should, should be kind of wanted to like do this. Give an idea. Alright, there's my poof. And now we poof it. There we go. That looks cuter than the individual strands of hair to me. Poof, poof, poof. The little scruffle basically to block that off. Mm -mm -mm. Is this our mind? I don't know why I said it like that. This is, this is our Furby, but he's not done yet. To figure out some colors for him. Can I want to do a multi toned one? We got regular colors, pictures of them cut in half. Oh no. I don't know if I want to go for a bright colored Furby or natural tone. Maybe let's go for a pastel -y one. That's fun. Okay, and they got kind of owly eyes. It's a weird word. Um, they've got kind of owly eyes basically with their little, um, their little mechanisms that show through. And I've been kind of practicing drawing them, so a little bit of a snow or barn owl going to go it on. Not bad. And then a little piece in the middle for their um, eyeball. Their actual eye. How creepy is that? Okay. Herb is ready to become. <laughs> that little hair. Okay, now this is where the fun begins because I think, I know, um, do that. And this, come on, there you go. So does this one? Get something that can get pretty chunky. No, it's not that way, okay. Go to the eraser. It's the other way around. Um, and, this, and then that. Yeah, there we go. You see, it ignores the black. So it's saying turn the blue lines gray. We're gonna be here. Oh. <sighs> I haven't redid all of them. I don't know. Go for a Go! Go! I need to get to my least favorite part when it comes to having to hand draw things in, okay? Ugh, and all the lines are the same color because of that. Okay. We're mostly done, I think. You guys probably can't totally see it, but there's this little bit of blue up top that's bugging me. Say, so yeah, my least favorite thing to do in digital art is um, filling in the colors by hand. I've been a little spoiled, I think, but you know. It's just, it's just not my favorite. I don't like coloring. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think that I can, um, I don't think that I can get a good color base. No. See? It just goes everywhere. Okay. Hmm. This doesn't work. Can't see that works. You can see the pixels having to think super hard about it. You can do it. Oh, let's look at these little bits. Little bits! Oh, you can tell it's thinking too hard. I'm thinking too hard. Okay, now... We have a fill bucket. Fill bucket? Alright. Fill bucket. Kind of. That's a start. <sighs> Come in. Get the rest of these little bits out. I don't entirely know what they are. Judging by the way that the, the rest of the art is reacting, I'm assuming it's just glitchiness. Like, it might be a little bit of blue left over from our sketch, but I, I think it's just like, ah! Part one of four, done. <laughs> Let's pick a secondary color here. Oh, I could probably do the outsides of the ears purple. It's fighting me really hard. I don't know why I decided to fill this all the way in. That was kind of dumb. I 
Hey, why do you make that- you do that thing that you do? Why are you the way that you are? And why won't you close that curtain? How about that? Why? Why? Yeah. <sighs> okay. And it made this weird straight up line. peachy color so it's got a good base and then go a little bit more pesto I want to be lighter more yellowy kind of an Easter Furby so back to the eraser uh, this is no other way around okay so first color is gonna be purple second color is gonna be there we go Yeah, this is just so it doesn't interfere with the lines. Oh, now you- Oh, now you're not gonna do anything. Oh, because <laughs> I wasn't pressing right click. Right. And now you won't go on the eyes because I didn't put any purple there. Because I could. Ooh. <laughs> Coloring outside the lines. I don't know why I decided to, again, color this all in by hand with this eraser. Let's do this. Color inside the lines for a second here. Another thing I did when I was a little kid, and I always like kind of re <laughs> reciting it as a, a reason that I got into art, I guess, uh, was I was sitting there, and the reason that I hate coloring forever, uh, we were sitting in like a uh, dominoes or something like that, uh, back when they had like coloring books and stuff and Legos, and or maybe it was a local pizza joint. And my parents were trying to teach me how to color in a comic or, or color in the coloring book nicely. Me being like I don't know four or five at the time, and <laughs> the way that they that they decided to show me was to show like tracing along the inside of the lines first. <laughs> Which is a good way, you know, to to do that. Um, uh, which is a good way to learn, obviously, how to clean, color in the lines. But my little baby brain took it to mean, uh, took it to mean, <laughs> make my own lines. So completely ignore um, everything that the <laughs> everything that was in front of me and <laughs> scribble all over the page while saying make my own lines. I was very um, very rebellious. But yeah, so I've always hated, I've always hated coloring, and I've always felt the need to make my own, my own lines of- And now I'm silent again. Actually, because purple is here, could I just fill this in, or will it yell at me? Well, it won't let me, it won't yell at me, but it'll let me. Yay. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> Any amount of period of time that I do not need to color things is a good day. That was words. Words to quote me by. Very few people see my videos, so if you're new, welcome. This All my other videos are gonna be me talking nonsense. Woo! Look at that texture. Okay. Change the whites of the eyes. And what color? Blue? Green. Nice baby green would actually contrast with you really well. Let's see. That looks cute. Oh, those whites are too, uh, too yellowy though. Can't forget about that classic kind of yellowy orange beak. Here we go. Um, and we could give it yellow feet. Do all older fur, but not all of them, do they? Hmm. Furbies are like cat owls. Are their feet um, big, fluffy owl owl claws or kitty paws? Discuss. It's just usually a lighter color. Hmm. Not incredibly visible. You can probably make the background darker if I wanted to. There we go. Oop. Ruin that tone. Let's get you a bit of a darker background if we can. I mean, it looks kind of like my style. It's just um, not as. 
Now it's clean. Let's color in the lines first so I can get a better idea of what's going on. Uh, this is our Furby's color. And then let's make it bluer and darker. This is the color we want to replace it with. This is the color we're replacing, I think. Yes, there we go. That is cool. It doesn't overlap with the lines, or with the colors, I mean. Very similar to using. And rendering. This is going to be interesting. So, let's see. We could use our slightly uh, transparent brush here. I am a bit opaque again. And it is fighting me tooth and nail. Look at how cute that is, though. How can you be mad about that? Shading to me, it means slightly easier doing by hand than, uh, than coloring. It's like you're just bringing something to life instead of having to color it all in or something. It's, I don't know, it's a mental block with me. I don't hate coloring, it's just my least favorite part of art. God! The straight lines! <laughs> there are times in art where you need a straight line and today is not that day! And the reason the right click thing is throwing me off is because I have my, uh, my key in clip switch to uh, switch to right click to grab stuff with the uh, color picker and I'm usually always doing that like always purple it's up there so that's a good start a bit redder a bit lighter in my attempts to be careful I am like drawing lighter out of habit like maybe if I don't hold it down as much it's pen pressure and this doesn't use pin pressure. <laughs> and I'm struggling. These brushes are fun though. <laughs> Should I make the shadow deeper on one side, maybe? Furb, furb. Furbity, furb. Furb, furb. Furbity, furb. Furb, furb. Furbity, furb. Go. That looks good. Okay. Now, oh, let's do the eyes. I'm totally procrastinating. Don't get so. Totally procrastinating. Actually, um, actually working in the background because that looked horrible. Let's see what the damage is. Mm. Okay, that's not as bad though. Kind of. So yeah, this is black looks like. That might actually work. I don't usually like using stark black, but you know. In times of trouble, need not to. Verb in the void. All hail verb. Void verb. Verb in the void. Okay. Now we should be able to use. Getting those pupils are black, so I should be uh, a little cautious about that. Purple. Crank up that neon. Is this vaporwave? <laughs> okay. So this, oh, we should sign it. This is my Furby. My completed MS Paint for fun to have a little bit of fun with MS Paint. <laughs> draw around for the first time in years and really focus on something that I'd never really tried to do in paint which is you know mimic my own art style most of the time if I've gone in here to experiment it's been like pixel arty or something like that so coming back in and trying to use it this way has been interesting I think it looks cute it's not necessarily my uh, favorite but you know it was a one-time go and I wanted to make this relatively short without much uh, much hesitation so get this signed on signed Watermarked. and I will see y'all next time <laughs>